Hi everybody, in this short video I want to show you how you can use the equation editor in Microsoft Word to display proper mathematical notation. So I'm going to go over to the My Math Lab site. I'm here in section uh, 1.4. I'm going to scroll down and just grab one of these problems like number 111 here. I'll use my Jing to uh, grab a screenshot of that. And I will capture that image, copy it, and go over here into Microsoft Word where I have an exact copy of the problem out of the textbook. Now suppose I wanted to work that for example a, a discussion board problem and uh, I would like to uh, be able to display that all in proper mathematical notation. So I'm going to go up here to insert. I'm going to insert over here as an equation. And I can type the equation right in here and notice that it brings up a whole palette of uh, math operators here that you can choose from, like for example a fraction, and and uh, just scroll through here, you can see different types of fractions here, and under the script you'll see uh, um, the ability to write exponents with this one, or subscripts with this one, or mixed fractions with this one. Here you got radicals and and uh, all sorts of different things, different brackets over here. All right, so I'm going to. Uh, Go ahead and type this in. Now, one other thing I just want to draw your attention to. Notice if you right click on these, you can add this to your quick access toolbar. So, notice that up here, my quick access toolbar, I can have all those operators very quickly. All right, I can do that with all of these that I might use. All right, and they'll be right up here handy for me. All right, so uh, let's type this uh, equation in. Notice what I need is. Uh, I need some, I'm uh, going to have an exponent right there, right? So let's uh, let's go ahead and grab me an exponent. That's the most outer operation there. And then I'm going to need some brackets. Got some parentheses right there. And you're going to need a fraction. So let's put in this fraction. Let's see in the top I need negative 4x. Um, and sometimes it'll work to use the up arrow, like if I want x to the fourth. Um, and then if I put a space, then it will it will make understand that x caret to the fourth power, which is the text character for exponentiation. That'll just automatically convert that to a fourth power. Y up arrow negative two, and I put a little space. Uh, then I don't have to keep putting in all the little operators there. Then in the denominator, five x up arrow negative one space and uh, y up arrow 4 space. So then I've got that in here. I can go ahead and put this exponent right there, negative 4. And there I've, I've uh, made an exact replication of that. All right. So then if I want to continue working that problem as a simplification, if I hit the hold down the shift button and then hit enter, then it'll move to right underneath it right there. And of course, I can move these over and go back to my, my home tab up here. I can uh, left justify that if I want it all on this side, or I could leave it in the center however I want it. Okay. And uh, then if I want to simplify this, then I could uh, come up here. Where's my fraction at? Type in this fraction. It just automatically makes an equation right there. And I could just take this whole numerator right here. Use your cut and paste as you need it. All right, so let me copy that. Maybe put some parentheses in here. So I can just paste that right in there. And then I could raise that to the negative 4 power. All right, and then do the same thing down here as well. Oops, that knows it what I wanted. So let me hit a Control Z there. I wanted to copy that. I wanted my parenthesis down here. And I wanted to raise all that to the negative 4. And then I can uh, go on to the next step. If I wanted to, I put an equal sign right here and uh, put my fraction bar. And just work in the numerator right here and get a negative 4 up arrow to the fourth power to the negative fourth power and then I've got an x to the fourth raised to the negative fourth power 
and I've got a y to the negative 2. Need a parenthesis there. Oops, but I forgot the uh, caret there. y to the negative 2. And that's all raised to the negative 4 power. Okay, and you can see how this works. All right, fairly easy to do. If I don't want to use the caret key, I can just put in here, come up here and grab that that subscript or the superscript there and just type the 5 in right here. And then I want that to the negative 4 power. And then I use my little arrow button to get out of the exponent there. Uh, but I find this a little bit easier. Um, x to the negative 1. And I want that raised to the negative 4. And every time I hit space, then it just moves that uh, caret uh, negative 4 as an as a exponent negative 4. And we've got one more here. y to the negative 4. And then I want that raised to the negative 4. Okay. And then I can keep going. Or if I want, I can edit that if I like it underneath. I kind of like having these uh, underneath so I can just hit the enter button and move those down and you can edit these and it might be nice sometimes to have uh, you know change the color on these you know so you could change the color to be red or whatever um, so you have all sorts of options here in Word to uh, manage your display of these when you're doing your discussion boards and uh, we'll change that black back to black should we finish this out just to show you guys the let me hit enter again here and uh, if I want uh, to simplify this again I'll get a fraction put that in here I'm gonna get negative 4 to the negative 4 um, maybe what I should do is bring that down in the denominator this way and so let's do this let's copy that so I don't have to keep typing it in and uh, that's gonna change that to a positive 4 exponent isn't it and likewise I can grab this 5 to the negative 4 put that in the numerator and that'll become 5 to the plus 4 alright and then I can write this as x raised to the negative 16th space that makes the exponent and y to the 8th and what else have I got down in the basement here I've got an x to the 4 when I multiply those exponents and a y to the 16 all right so from there let's get that fraction again here 5 to the fourth wow that's uh, 625 I think um, and then I've got uh, X to the uh, uh, I'll have to bring this X to the negative 16th down let's make that uh, let's grab it here copy it put that down here and that's going to make it x to the positive 16th and I'll have the x to the fourth and y to the 16th I can just copy and just move those right down there as well what else have I got I got the y to the 8 there that's going to stay up on top and uh, I've got this negative 4 to the fourth power uh, that's going to be 64 times 4 is 256. It'll be positive, I think, there. Okay, and then last of all, if I wanted to, again, I can just continue this on. Let's go ahead and just copy the whole thing. And then I will just combine these together. Make the x to the 16th times the x to the 4th and x to the 20th. And then that'll get rid of that. Okay. All right. So uh, there's lots of other uh, things there when you're inserting the equations. You can look at all these different uh, uh, operators they have there to make your, your equations and your presentations mathematically desirable to look at. Okay. So I hope you find that helpful.